Razer's much-anticipated plug-in hybrid SUV project is nearing its final phases of development. Here for the first time, Razer is unveiling a look at its proprietary extended-range electric vehicle powertrain designed to power full-size SUVs and light trucks. This is a fully electric vehicle powered by an electric motor. However, it does use a smaller, more efficient four-cylinder combustion engine used only to generate electricity to recharge the batteries when needed. The typical V8 engine is replaced with a new high-efficiency genset combining one of the most efficient four-cylinder combustion engines available today with Razer's new 100 kilowatt permanent magnet generator designed specifically to match the speed and torque of the combustion engine for maximum efficiency. The combustion engine does not connect to the drivetrain but simply generates electricity for the electric motor which propels the vehicle. The generator will also be used to export emergency mobile power ideal for utility fleets and work sites. At the heart of this fully electric powertrain is Razer's new high power 200 kilowatt AC induction motor also called the traction drive. The electric motor mounts to the chassis using specially designed motor mounts and is connected directly to the transmission. This provides exceptional torque and acceleration while maintaining the vehicle's four-wheel drive performance. The vehicle drive shaft has been shortened to accommodate the electric motor. Because the vehicle is now fully electric, the belt-driven systems have now been converted to electric power. To reduce manufacturing costs and improve efficiency, the vehicle is designed to operate at about 625 volts. High voltage cabling and safety connects have been designed and installed. In addition, a DC to DC converter to accommodate lower voltage electric accessories. The lithium ion battery packs are mounted safely between frame rails at the rear of the vehicle. Although the vehicle was only designed to prototype specifications, many of the systems are engineered with production ready integration in mind. To charge the vehicle, users have a choice of 110 or 220 volt outlets. The high power charging connector attaches here for safe charging. The battery packs have finally been completed and are being integrated into the vehicle for testing. Here, the vehicle is being bench tested with power delivered to all four wheels with sustained speed tests of up to 90 miles per hour. Project Leader and Razor Vice President of Business Development, Jim Spellman. I am proud of the work my team has done in the powertrain development and integration of the entire vehicle. We are almost there. One of the biggest challenges has been the new lithium-ion battery packs. We, like several automakers, have been delayed by lithium-ion battery suppliers who have been working through the issues including packaging and battery management systems. We have tested our motor, generator, and dual drive controller in the lab, and now they are running in the vehicle where we have tested at speeds up to 90 miles per hour on the lift. The majority of the final work to complete will be refining the software for the hybrid master control logic and vehicle systems communications for smooth, safe, and efficient road operations. As expected with new technology development, we have had to overcome several unforeseen challenges However, I am confident it will be well worth it. The finish line is in view and we are on track to road test the vehicle by the end of March. The vehicle demonstrations so far have impressed auto executives who await anxiously the subsequent road tests and benchmarking. This project will demonstrate Razor's leadership in plug-in hybrid powertrain technology for America's most popular class of vehicles. In addition to the SUV model, Razor plans to demonstrate the powertrain in popular light trucks designed for fleet operation. 
keep watching here at www.razortech.com for exciting updates and demonstrations as the first vehicle nears completion.